Alright, so we're back here checking out Rogue State, and uh, if you missed my first video about this game, you'll want to definitely go back and check that out, because that's going to cover a lot of the fundamentals of how the game is played and how all the different systems in it work. Uh, what I'm basically going to do here is just jump in right where I left off and continue this playthrough so that uh, folks can see a little bit more of the game and uh, a little bit more of the mechanics that are involved in it. Uh, but I'm not going to actually explain what I'm doing so much as just kind of go through the motions and, and let you see some more of what the game has to offer. So if you're looking for the sort of explanation of what this game is and how to play it, uh, definitely check out the link in the description box to my previous video, which will do a much better job of covering that sort of stuff. Uh, but for the time being, let's just jump right in here and continue our playthrough at the beginning of our second year of running this country. So looking at our fundage, we've got 277 million gaining 51 million per year. We're also gaining two loyalty points a year, sitting at 69 of 100 possible loyalty points. So we're actually in really good shape at the moment, and uh, we probably just want to look at maintaining what we have and trying to improve it uh, as we go. So right now uh, we're getting positives from our patriots and our fundamentalists. Uh, still getting negatives from liberals, although we have a really good score for them at the moment. And negatives from capitalists, although their score isn't too low either. Uh, so I think what we're probably going to do is take our next piece of infrastructure to try to help bolster our capitalist faction. So let's see what we can do to help them out. Um, yeah, you know what else I want to check real quick? I want to see what our relations with the U.S. are. Uh, we're kind of neutral with them, but I think if we if we build that hotel, uh, that could, could help our U.S. relations. So we might want to do that because the capitalists will like it. It'll give us a decent amount of money per turn extra, and it'll help our U.S. relations. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm sure the international community will like that. Now the question is, do we bug the rooms and try to learn international secrets? Or do we uh, five-star service it? We do get one million per turn from tourism for doing that. So let's go ahead and grab that and make a little extra moolah. And that way we don't have to risk being found out trying to <laughs> spy on people. Because that would be bad. Uh, the other thing I think we might do this turn is build our sweatshop and uh, start working on you know building our infrastructure out to be more productive uh, because that's only 50 mil and we still got 227 in the bank so I think we've got plenty of breathing room to do that let's start making ourselves some monies and it's gonna put us at 46 mil per turn which I think is gonna jump up starting next turn once those infrastructure projects are done uh, so let's go ahead and see how that ends up impacting things. Let's actually check the policies real quick and see if those things that we built just affected anything or if we have to wait for next turn for that to kick in. Looks like we might have to wait for next turn. Let's see how that works. Oh man, asteroids, seriously? <laughs> Send a misfit team of deep core drillers into space to deflect the asteroids safely into uninhabited territory. Clearly, I need to start on a space program, because if I had the space program, I probably couldn't do something about that, but it looks like we're screwed. Uh, so have our scientists uh, disciplined for not discovering the asteroid sooner. Let's go with that. Ow, quit it. Please tell me the asteroid didn't hit the hotel we just built. 
Oh, our university was hit by a meteor and destroyed. Not cool game. That is so not cool. Uh, so we're going to need to rebuild that stupid meteor. What kind of crap is that? Well, let's, let's hurry up and rebuild it before it even becomes an issue. Yep. There we go. You guys are good. We're all good. Everything's fine. No panic. <laughs> I'm going to rebuild that. So let's see what our policies are looking like. More importantly, our faction ratings. Still in pretty good shape. We're actually in really good shape with the Patriots and the Fundamentalists, which is really good. I still gotta figure out how we're gonna get the Capitalists on board, though. I keep thinking that these infrastructure things I'm building are gonna help them out, but it seems like they're very slow to, to embrace this stuff. So let's see. Uh... Strength increases GDP. Yeah, we probably don't want to pull that trigger just yet. That's something we want to consider, but maybe not quite yet. Well, we don't have the capitalist approval to make this work. So that's no good. Oh, you know what? We probably should work on the healthcare because we said we were going to do that. And there's actually a way to get the capitalists on board by doing this in the right way. Yeah. Yeah, we got plenty of money. Well, at least enough money to do this. So let's jump in on that. So how do we want to do this healthcare? Two-tiered medical care. The capitalists like that. Single tier. The liberals like that. And we gain two million per turn. I feel like we need to start mitigating some of that loss on the capitalist side there so let's go with this and then what can we do here liberals like that yeah we'll probably build the hospital next turn let's see if we can level out that liberal loss so we don't uh, keep hemorrhaging approval from them not that one percent per turn is hemorrhaging but you know what i mean Uh oh. Okay, this one is one we can't really do anything about. Okay, so we got 170 million. We're really doing well as far as our loyalty goes. We're getting plus seven per turn, so we're going to be up at 100% loyalty real quick here. 43 million per turn in the bank. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab... Let's check our... Oh, you know what? I, I keep missing these announcements, too. we got to be careful about that. Now these guys are going at it again. That's not good. Yeah, so let's see if we can level out the, the liberals by building that hospital. So we don't unnecessarily lose their support, because keeping them above 60 I think is going to be key. Let's see what this would do.
<laughs> nice. Alright, I think that may be good enough on that side of things. I think we actually are doing pretty good on our society panel here. There's really nothing else I want to grab. So, I think we may be done there. We may be able to focus exclusively on trade and diplomacy and security moving forward. So we'll take a closer look at that stuff next turn. Uh, are we still trading? I wonder if I missed our trades ending. You know, let's call our neighbors and see what's going on with them. Yeah, we're not, they're not in love with us. <laughs> I think our trades might have expired and I might have missed it. Call. Oh no. Okay. Uh, maybe we get... Maybe we get spices from these guys. We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your spices. Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree to. So let's see, they want 100% of market value. That's only 6 million per turn, though. Yeah, sure, let's grab it. Hopefully that'll help improve relations. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. For 6 million per turn, that's an easy, easy thing to do. Let's see about these guys. Yeah, that seemed to help us a little bit. Uh, let's see what these guys have that I might want. Thank you for taking my call. I would very much like to buy your goats. We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your goats. Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree on. Uh, 21 million per turn, but it's 80% of the market value. Hmm. Eh, sure. People like goats, right? We need more goats. Let's do it. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Okay, so it's 43 million per turn. Alright, let's talk to this other guy and see if we can get something from him. Thank you for taking my call. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's get the garments from him. We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your garments. Certainly. There are terms we are prepared to agree to. 16 mil per turn. They want a little bit more than market rate for them, but I think we really need to try to settle our... Uh, we need to get them more invested in, in dealing with us, because right now we're not really loved by anybody. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. So we really need to make uh, the best we can out of those relationships with the trade. Yeah, that seemed to help a little bit. Everybody's kind of kind of warming up to us a little as a result of that. Uh, let's see. I guess... Okay, so here are the political prisoners thing. So because we kept those people in prison at the beginning of the game, now this guy's threatening to release uh, stuff about us. I wonder how much this is actually going to cost us. It doesn't actually say. Let's see. That yeah, wasn't too terrible. Although we are losing money per turn now, which is not awesome. So we need to figure something that's going to get us money per turn. Uh, it's because our other agreements ended. I got it. 
So we need to reestablish those agreements. We need to develop reverse engineering within the next seven turns to get a favor. And yeah, we're probably ready to do that. We just need to um, need to get our money situation under control. So let's try to sell oil to this guy this time. Let's see how that goes. Thank you for taking my call. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji oil? Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Oh, only 77%? Oh, I don't like that. <sighs> it is unfortunate that we couldn't come to an agreement. Let's see if they'll take our, um, our entertainment stuff for a better rate. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji Media and Entertainment? Certainly. These are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Uh, okay. So we'll get 100% of market value. That's cool. I'm down with that. It's a much better deal. Let's see... Apologies, but if I must we go. can Let us speak again later. sell the oil Bye. to the other guy, because I know that we're not going to get the full rate from uh, our neighbor to the west. Let's see if this guy will give us a better rate on the oil. Oh wait, no. Does he have oil? Is that oil? No, I don't think that's oil. I hope I'm not wasting a phone call here. Let's find out. Oh, he ignored my call. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, let's see if we can get our oil sold to her again. Thank you for taking my call. It's probably not a good sign that he ignored my call. <laughs> Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji oil? Certainly. So These hopefully this is going to be we are prepared to agree on. better than 77%. Eh, no, nah, it's the same. Lame. Whatever. At least we got 100% for the entertainment stuff. We really need the money, so I can't really... Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Can't really complain. Okay, so that's going to... Hopefully those trade agreements will kick in next turn. Can't really afford to spend anything this turn, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and end the turn. I have a bad feeling about that guy not answering our call. That's not good. Oh no, our air quality sucks and there's nothing we can do. No. Okay. So. What is this? Uh, why are we losing so much per turn? We should be gaining per turn with those deals. I guess it's because we're buying from three different places and not um, and not making anything ourselves yeah I probably should have only agreed to trade with two of them that was probably a mistake you know, think about what I can do here to settle this if there's something I can do that's going to help get us more money Let's see what we're doing in terms of resources now. So we have a lot of bonuses rocking. Well, the cashmere is not really doing us any good because we don't have the sweatshop in place.
Can we actually afford? Oh, we have the goats and the spices. Okay. Um, we may have to we may have to forego the spices because we're losing too much per turn. But let's see if we can build the sweatshop and if that will be enough to oh we already have the sweatshop okay so it's already it's already kicking at doubled efficiency huh that's a problem well let's try to ride this out for a couple more turns I feel like our economy is, is only going to get worse, though. Let's see if we can get a bonus or, or something good to happen from a, from a turn and see if we can ride out these, uh, these issues. What's this doing for our policies, I wonder? terrible but it's not great either we really need to do something to get the capitalists engaged I'm really not entirely sure what we're gonna do to do that what we want to make sure is that the bonuses that we're actually getting matter Seems like they do. Hmm. Is there anything we can build that's going to help us? that much. Hmm. Yeah, the drones might be useful. I do need to get that, but that's not going to help my economic situation at all. This is the thing we're supposed to be building. I think what I'm going to do is cancel the spices. I hate to do it because it's probably going to really make him angry, but we just really can't afford. We just really can't afford that right now. Thank you for taking my call. Basenji will be withdrawing from its trade agreements with you. Just like that? Fine. Whatever. Just don't come back looking for a favor anytime soon. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, 
soon to be enemy. <laughs> I, uh, I did not realize what I was doing. Yeah, I have a feeling that's going to end poorly. Thank you for taking my call. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji Media and Entertainment? We are not interested in trading agreements with your country under any terms. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be the case, but that, made, that just makes sense. Let's see if this guy will answer the phone. Thank you for taking my okay. call. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji Media and Entertainment? Certainly. There are terms we are prepared to agree to. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose some money on that, but... At least we have some place for our stuff to go. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. So if that worked the way that I think it did, yeah, we lost the spice, but we kept this. So, yeah, I think that's that's about as good as we could hope for there. And we probably just need to try to ride this out and see how our economy fares. Okay, so we're only losing four mil per now. That's good, I guess. <laughs> At least we're at 100% approval, but I'm still very concerned about the fact that we're deep, deep in the hole at the moment. And we're in no position to fulfill that quest, which is really bumming me out. Hopefully we'll catch a good event here soon. That's really funny. I have to take that option just because it's hilarious. And I'm still losing per turn. I don't like that. At least we have full support. It's the only thing I can say that's good. We really need to be more careful with our trade agreements though. I had no idea we were giving up so much. I think it's fairly safe to say we can do this. Unfortunately, these events are not helping our finances at all. <laughs> capitalist situation is still a bit of a problem, but I wonder if there's something I can do to, to help that out. The capitalists like that, <laughs> unfortunately.
Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think we were ready to to make that leap. Now that doesn't hurt either of my other two. And it gets the capitalists more under control. I think... Yeah, they don't like that, but they do like that. I think just in the interest of Yeah, let's let's do that. That'll probably help our financial situation. I hate to do it, but it's the only I think it's the only way we're gonna get our uh, our finances under control. At least until those trade agreements end. Because I don't dare cancel another one. People are not thrilled at me at the moment. <laughs> Let's actually check the situation room real quick. Get a read on... Oh, actually, I guess I could have picked up the phone to do that. Let's go talk to our general. Though we haven't talked to him yet this playthrough. See how the military feels. Excellency, the generals of your armed forces stand ready to execute your orders. How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. All right. Yeah, we don't really have Thanks. any intelligence That's all for now. information. I know that for sure. We just have general mood indicators. Yeah, those guys don't hate us as much as I thought they would. So that's good. I think we're actually in pretty decent shape. I am very worried about our economy, though, because we cannot defend ourselves adequately if anybody attacks us right now. So I'm getting very concerned about that situation. We've really got to play the diplomacy game here at this point because we just don't have the money to do anything else. Oh man. Yeah, we don't have the money. People aren't going to like this, but I think I'm going to ask the UN for help. Still losing per turn, even with the gambling. Interesting. Try to ride this, uh, ride these trade agreements out. All right, cool. Yes, we have 200 million extra. Awesome. No, I don't think we need to kill the accountants. Let's just accept our windfall. All right, so this is really good. This is really good. So I think the first thing we need to do is get reverse engineering up and running. I know we missed the deadline for doing that. At least I think we did. But let's try to get it anyway. That's going to help our finances big time. And actually, I think...
All right. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. We're gonna hold off on that. So what does that do for us in terms of monies? probably get started on oh you know what while I have the money let's do this and do this get those out of the way Let's take the loan. We need the money. People are still pretty happy. Negative 26 million per turn? What is going on with that? How are we losing so much money? Okay, we did get that built in time. Alright, cool. We did accomplish that, that task then. Excellent. Um, <laughs> Alright, so this is probably the last like big sum of money we're going to get for a while, uh, if ever, just out of the blue. So we really got to make the most out of this. So I think we're going to take this opportunity to do this and this and bolster our relations. That'll help. And then we need to look at... Um, yeah, actually, we might do both of these. Next time we go to negotiate, we're going to want to pop this if we can. Oh, man, we really need this to... Because this is one of the last... Oh, you know what? The stadium thing would help too. of capitalists. We're only at 43%, so even with the 10% boost, we're still not going to be at 60. Let's grab this, though. Let's see what that does for us. 93 million, losing 26 per turn. Oh man, it's gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Uh, you know what? Hopefully, this will take effect immediately. Just make a mistake there. Let's let's see.
Yeah, we definitely need the economic boost. Oh man, this is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> We're gonna bottom out our economy here. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good. I should not have entered into those trade agreements. That was the big mistake that I made. And now it's gonna bite me. Now it is gonna bite me. And there's nothing I can do. I mean, the capitalists are finally happy, but like at what cost? <laughs> Uh, I guess the only thing I can do really is try to back off some of these programs. I'm just going to have to get real extreme with the policies to, to try to save it. It's, it's all I can do. I gotta get a 30% taxes. It's the only way I'm, I'm gonna not, like, bottom out. We'll just have to start bringing it down every turn. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're keeping that gold. That is happening. All right, we managed to survive the second year. The honorable Basenji people, my fellow countrymen and women, my beloved citizens, I address you today as we are ushering in a new era in the history of our homeland. I wish to address you first as you are the owners of this blessed land, its defenders the builders of its prosperity, and the architects of its future. All right. So... Yeah, well, that's definitely the area that we need to focus on, that's for sure. I actually think that that might be the best way to to approach this. Eradicating poverty and ensuring that prosperity and well-being are sustainable are two of the most pressing challenges the world faces today. Uh, the 
government thing could be cool. Yeah, I think that's our best the shot. The government will provide entrepreneurs with small loans at low interest to ensure the financial health of Basenji. That was good. That was stayed on topic. People liked that. Statues. Second, we will establish a national unemployment insurance so no Basenji need ever to fear losing their job again. Finally, it is with a full heart that I say to you all. To go full on and I hope it works. I look to the future with tranquility. The People's Republic of Bisenji represents superior military, economic, and above all, moral power. All right, we we just barely made it that time, but we got something out of it anyway. Cool. Okay, so. <laughs> So that got real sketchy there for a minute. 47 million. We're only getting 2 million per turn with all of that. Uh, all of that taxing, which is not good. So that's another year down in the books. Uh, I would say this is probably as good a time as any to break this up. Uh, so I'm going to end this video here, and if you want to see the next year, uh, throw a comment on this or a like and let me know, uh, and if so, I will post the next year of the playthrough, assuming that I survive that long. Until next time, Viva la Revolucion!